guys, so today I have haul and review video from I Buy Beauty and I'm actually filming outside. I'm not in my apartment. My roommate is actually studying right now so I can't make any noise otherwise she will complain to me so I thought I would just film outside even though it's really freezing. I'm going to do my best and finish filming this video. So I thought it would be appropriate to do a haul and review because I feel like if I only do a haul, you guys won't really get to know much about the products and what I think about them. So I've been trying out these products for a good three days now and they haven't broke me out or anything So I thought it'd be nice to come back and do this I think the last time that I did this kind of video was last year and back then I used to have more time to film like individual review for the products that I really like but nowadays um, I can't because I've been really busy with my school my homework my reading assignments and law school has just been really taking most of my free time so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and tell you guys like each product and give you a little rundown on them and what I think about it by the way all these products I got from I buy beauty personally I buy beauty is one of my favorite Korean online store because I feel like they updates really well like if there is a new products coming out from let's say Innisfree or Etude House or let's say Aritaum they would just update you straight away and they will sell that online which is really good because I love like if there's a new lip stain uh, products and I really want to get my hands on them but I couldn't because most of Korean online store that I have known so far they're a little bit late when it comes to updating them so I like to get ahead and just grab all the new products that came out so I will link everything that I got and their website down below for you guys to check out just go and take a look if you guys like some of the products I do recommend checking them out first thing that I got is this Espoir Facelip Nude Cushion in SPF 50 PA++ So this is how it looks like In the beginning when I got this, I was like, oh my god, the box is so big Cushion BB Compact or Cushion Foundation is like this slim But the box is like really bulky So I was like, why would they waste so much on the packaging because it's just slim compact stuff But when I opened it um, it actually comes with a refill which is awesome because I don't have to buy like a refill or anything if I once run out of this so I am really happy that they actually included a refill so this is awesome and the compact foundation itself looks like this it's very slick I think it's just a standard cushion foundation or BB compact packaging um, but I feel like it's really slim because I know there are a couple of BB or cushion foundation that has a really bulky packaging but this one almost identical as my Mamung the Real Skin Founder packaging so I like that it's very slim so if you have a smaller purse you can just put it in and you're ready to go foundation wise I'm wearing them today I really like it I feel like the coverage is really good it's light to medium I'm not really sure whether you can actually build it up almost to full because I tried it yesterday and it was almost there to a full coverage but kind of not there yet if you guys know what I mean so if you guys like a light to medium coverage type of foundation I do recommend you guys checking this out and also it has SPF 50 PA++ which is good because I'm really lazy I don't like putting in sunscreen like on my face before I put on my makeup because I feel like it just takes up so much of my time and I'm just really lazy <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm I'm the laziest person when it comes to putting on makeup but yeah my skin looks really healthy and it's just a right amount of dewiness i feel like it's not too dewy it's not too matte just right in the middle make your skin looks very natural and cushion foundation in general they don't have a gray outcast which i think it's amazing because i have let my hands off from bb cream these days because i feel like they are really gray even though it looks really gray in the beginning it will oxidize and stuff like that but i don't really like waiting for it to oxidize and just so much hassle and sometimes some bb cream doesn't oxidize at all on me so i just like you know what i think i would just go with foundation i like this so far i don't have any problem it didn't break me out and by the way i have a combination skin like combination oily skin and um if you guys have dry skin or like oily skin this will also be good because i have did a research and some people who use this who have a oily skin also really like it so i really highly recommend and i think i would try other cushion bb 
and let you guys know what I think about it. But so far, this is my first cushion foundation and I really like it. The next one that I got here is the Dual Star Eyes in Champagne Pink Number no. 1 from Misha. I saw this when I was in Korea a year ago. I almost got it, but I didn't because I thought like I already have like a couple of pinkish champagne color eyeshadow back home in Indonesia, but now I don't have it because I didn't bring all my makeup here, you know? So I thought I should get one because it's really great for daily basis and they're very natural looking so it's not like wearing smoky eyes makeup to campus, you know? It's gonna be really scary and people will be like, what were you thinking? It's school. Just wear something natural, you know? It reminds me a little bit of Chanel Illusion the Ombre which I used to have and I finished that already or I think I did or my mom finished it I'm kind of sharing that with my mom because she really likes it so this is how it looks like it's really beautiful pinkish champagne tone color eyeshadow I think it's flattering for all skin tones the reason why I got this was because I was watching um, star beauty show the one that rainbow Chegyong did makeup tutorial on this model and it looks really nice when I saw the final result of the whole makeup I really like it I thought it looked really nice on the lid very like glossy type but still looking very natural so after I watched that I was like that's it I need me some pinkish champagne color eyeshadow this is really beautiful it's more of a gelish texture which I think is again kind of similar to the Chanel illusion the ombre but more satiny I think it's really pretty not too pigmented not too sheer just right amount of shimmers. <laughs> I would recommend you guys wearing an eyeshadow primer before applying this or like eyeshadow base because uh, I noticed a little fallout on this but I think the color is still very pretty. I haven't found any like pot type of eyeshadow that carries this color so that's why I got this and I really like it. So I'm not going to complain that it has a little fallout because it's very hard to find this color nowadays okay you can never have enough lip stain or lip tint i feel like that and every time there's a new lip tint coming out like from any korean brand i just really want to try them out like all of them if i could but <sighs> since i have a limited budget i only got two of them and uh, the first one is from Aritaum and the second one is from Laneige so the first one that I want to talk about here is the Aritaum World Glam Coating Tint and this is how it looks like I feel like the packaging is just so gorgeous out of many like Korean lip tint packaging if I can rank the best packaging I would give it to this because I feel like it's not too princessy but it's very classy in my opinion I feel really nice like whenever I just take this out from my purse and apply it in the restroom whenever I go out I feel really like glamorous I guess I don't know I just have this thing with Aritaum packaging I feel like they have stepped up to the game these days with their um, cushion tint with their um, the Aritaum the long wear stick eyeshadow I think um, and this one so I have been really into Aritaum and I feel like Aritaum is one of my favorite Korean drugstore brand these days so I got this in color Seoul and I did a little research before I got this color because um, I want something that looks natural but kind of give me that nice um, my lips but better color so I'm wearing them today I feel like it's really like a me color again i i like this type of color you guys know that rosy pinkish kind of a little bit on the darker side color this is more of a darker peachy pink color if i can say i don't i'm not really good with colors but this is what i'm wearing today guys and i've never tried this texture lip stain before i feel like um this is the first ever glossy moisturizing vaseline type of lip stain it's really different than the l'oreal colorish lip stain i feel like that one is more of a sticky vaseline type of feeling when you apply it i feel like i'm wearing a lip gloss but at the same time i'm wearing a lip tint so it does have a glossy finish which i like because i've tried a lot of lip stain or lip tint before guys 30 lip tints before or or maybe more than that but um, most of them actually dries up and they kind of settles into the line on my lips but this one doesn't do that it actually stays glossy for like the next three hours which I was really impressed with and the pigmentation is just amazing I I'm so sorry L'Oreal Colorish Stain I have found a new love this is the only lip tint that has a sweet taste on it and I 
kind of did lick a little bit I think because at that time I felt like my lips was kind of drying and then I kind of lick a little bit like, like this and then and then I realized oh my god this actually has a taste to it and this is not like just kind of scent ish taste but you really lick it it tastes sweet so I I'm so happy with this lip tint. I don't know what I'm gonna do without this. I'm definitely gonna purchase more colors from uh, this line because I really like it. And I love the fact that the name is called Coating Tint, which is nice because it does kind of coat your lips and kind of make it look shiny, glossy, pigmented. <sighs> The next one that I got is the Laneige Water Drop Tint and this one is in color Pure Pink in 2548 and the packaging looks like this, just a standard Laneige packaging and I got the Pure Pink one Sometimes in the morning when you just don't have time to choose what color of lip tint you want I would take this and this is a very light pink color so if you don't want people to know that you're wearing a lip stain because some lip stain can look very obvious and it looks like oh you have some lipstick or you have some lip gloss on your lips and people can know that but um, this one it's very subtle pink more of a lighter type of subtle but still give you a nice color so that your face won't look pale so whenever I don't wear any full makeup I will just wear this just to give a color on my lips and I like that I would say this is more on that watery moisturizing type of lip tint this is a mixture between like a usual lip tint meets baby lips doctor rescue and put it in together and you have this so that how i felt whenever i apply this it it is moisturizing and the moisture actually lasts you pretty decent i would say it lasts from around an hour or two which is really good because lip stain usually don't last long on me i feel like the moisture just don't last long I like this formulation and the packaging is also very cute I didn't expect that this from Laneige I feel like they also improved their packaging and I would give a props to their designing team because it's really cute if I can put like top two favorite packaging for a lip tint it would be these two so love it the Laneige one is like quite faint kind of pink color while the one in Seoul is more of a peachy pink but tad bit darker so it's really beautiful and I really like on my lips right now next one that I got is this drawing show creamy pencil from Etude House I got in color RD304 which is after blossom so if you guys have watched my first impression for the Etude House rosy tint one of the color is called uh, after blossom so i think they name it kind of similar because people can use this and the after blossom lip stain together and burgundy color is really in for this fall and winter time so i wanted to get this so that i can use it for a tutorial for the burgundy makeup and this is really pigmented you guys i did not expect this to be really this pigmented but it looks like that and I'm actually trying to figure out how am I going to wear this on my eyes but I noticed that you can actually just um, blend it out like you can just make a little gradation and then apply like a copper brown color eyeshadow and it will look really nice I actually tried it out yesterday and I really like it so tutorial will be coming soon guys I know that I've been telling you guys that I will be doing a burgundy makeup tutorial but I was actually waiting for this I think Etude House eyeliners in general are really good quality I love their proof 10 auto pencil and this one also have the same formulation so it lasts very long and I'm actually considering of getting like the black and the brown color from this line as well so look forward to use this in a future tutorial the last one that I got is this Cyanic Aqua EX Powder Ampule so this is how it looks like I've been breaking out a lot lately I think because of the weather changes and like pre-exam stress <laughs> so I wanted to get this because my skin has been really dry no matter how much moisturizer I apply on my face my skin would just drink it up right away and it won't leave any like moisture residue and I also have been using sleeping pack but also didn't work on me I was still breaking out a lot so I wanted to try this out because this is really good I've heard a lot of great reviews on it so 
I got it and it actually comes with two of this and then one uh, pump I'm actually using it right now I've been using it for two days and I really like it I feel like it gives a really nice moisture without feeling sticky on my skin and I feel like uh, some of my breakouts like the redness are reducing so I am really happy with this ampule I use this after I apply my wonder pore freshener toner and then I would apply this and I don't apply anything else and I'll just sleep with it because I feel like if I put too much products like skincare products on my face I think that would be one of the reason why I break out so I have been like eliminating a lot of skincare products in my routine just to make sure that my skin come back to normal and then I'll probably start using other products again so yeah this has been my nightcare routine by itself and I love it so that's it for my haul and review I hope you guys enjoy this video and after this I'm going to put on my gloves because my hands are like freezing and um, I can't feel anything right now so if you guys have any questions don't forget to comment down below if you have any products recommendation do comment down below as well because I would love to try out the products that you guys recommend and all the products that I've mentioned here will be listed down below on the description box so I will see you guys later and stay warm don't get sick and yeah see you guys in my next video Annyeong.